Well, howdy there, Internet students. It's Mr. Hermeson again. Um, you guys, today we're going to learn how to write equations for, um, for problems using one variable. Um, and you guys, this is really a big deal. Um, this is one thing that um, there really is no computer program app that can write the equations for you. It's one thing that humans still will need to do. Um, and really, you're not going to be able to solve the problem if you can't come up with the equation. So, so let's make our focus during this unit on writing the equation, learning how to do that. Don't worry so much about the answer. Um, once you have the equation, it's pretty easy to solve and get the answer. And don't try and guess what the answer is before you have the equation. Even if you know the answer, you still um, need to learn how to write the equation. Okay? So, um, so what we're going to do is um, just make sure we understand the problem, what the words are, um, how, it, how you can make a, an equation out of it. Um, then we're going to use a variable to represent um, one of the unknown quantities and maybe an expression to represent the other. Um, then we're going to write the equation. Um, and uh, and we're going to we're going to turn to do that we're going to turn the words into symbols all right so um, just a couple of things real quick here just reminders um, a lot of times you have to find a word that means equal if the word equal is not in there um, and that's going to help you a lot here it is right here the word is that's where your equal sign goes so right away you should know on this one that um, that when you write the equation, if you write it correctly for these words, um, it will say equal 66. Okay. Now the rest of it, we just have to understand what it means. Sum means you're adding up, so you're adding stuff. Um, three, that te that tells me you're adding three things. Um, and the other clue you have here is that they're consecutive integers, so you have to know what the word consecutive means. Consecu consecutive means just one after the other. Um, so here's an, here's an example of consecutive integers. Now integers are, they're whole numbers basically. They can be positive or negative. But put these little notes in here so you remember what consecutive are. Consecutive are like one after another, like, like uh, 24, 25, and 26. One thing you should notice is that this number here, 25, is one more than your first number, 24. Always when you're doing consecutives. And 26 is the original number, the first number, 24 plus 2. If we had another consecutive number in there, that number would be 3 more than the original and so on. So we can use that idea to help us. So. If we represent the first integer with x, so the first integer is x, um, and actually, why don't I just tell you what the answer is right away so we know. Um, the answer is 21, 22, and 23, right? If you add up all those numbers, you're going to get 66, and they're consecutive. They're one apart. Okay, so now don't try and guess like that. The important part here is writing the equation. So we're going to go back and do that. But if x is 21, my first consecutive integer, um, in order to represent the next integer after that, and I don't want to introduce a new variable like y, I can just say x plus 1 because the second consecutive number is just one more than the first. And the last one is two more than the first or one more than the second, which is still x plus 2. All right? Now, um, the sum means you're adding up these three things, so that's easy. You just put a plus sign in between them. So I'm going to put parentheses here. You don't have to put parentheses, but just so you can see that I have three things. I have my original x, I have the number that's one more than x, and I have the number that's two more than x. All right. Now, um, to solve the equation, we're going to first simplify this um, by combining like terms. If I have 1x 
three times, that's three times x. And then I have one plus two here is three. Um, now, if you solve this, if you take away three from both sides, that gives you 63. And then you divide by three and you get 21. And that's the first number, which I had already told you the answer. But um, And then the way you know the next number is 22, if that's this one right here, this expression, x plus 1. So just add 1 to your 21. That makes 22. And x plus 2 would be 23. All right. Um, this one is the same, just a little bit different. It's consecutive odd integers. So it would be like um, odd integers are, uh, they end with 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So they could be, it, it, it could be like, I don't know, let's just say maybe 31. Then the next odd integer would be 33, and the next would be 35. All right? So if I want to represent these numbers, now the, this is not the right answer, by the way. Um, the correct answer, I think, is like maybe they're around 49, 51, somewhere in there. We'll find out in a second. But um, so when they're odd integers, they're actually two apart, which sounds kind of weird because when you add two, you think of even. But if you start with an odd and add two, you get another odd. And this 35 is four more than my original x. So again, I'm adding them up. And my equal sign goes where the is is. And I can simplify this and just make it 3x plus 6. And um, solving it at this point is pretty easy. I think I would just backtrack. I would do 171 minus 6, which is 165. Divide that by 3, and that's 55. So the numbers are 55. That's x equals 55 x plus 2 would be 57, x plus 3 would, or x plus 4 is the other one, that would be uh, 59. And if you add all these three up, they total 171. All right, um, we can also have problems for some geometry stuff. Um, if, um, and I'm not sure if you remember this term from sixth grade, but supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180. Now, in math, when we have 180 degrees, we actually have a straight line. Um, so if an angle is 180 degrees, that means it's straightened out to the point where it's a straight line. So I can represent a problem like this with a diagram like this, two angles that make a straight line. Okay, And um, one is 15 more than four times the other. You can see the expression for that, 15 more than four times. And the other one is just x. Now, supplementary means that both these angles will add up to 180. So your equal sign is kind of invisible in this problem, but you just have to know that they add up to 180. And then I just need to add the two ways, the two representations of these angles, x and 4x plus 15. And then I'm going to simplify that, 5x plus 15. And then I'm going to solve it to find x. I'm going to do 180 minus 15, which is 165. Divided by 5 is 33. Okay? So x equals 33. Now 4x plus 15, four, uh, 15 more than 4 times that x would be 4 times 33 which is 132 plus 15 is 147. And if you add these two together, they will equal 180. All right. I'm going to let you try the next one. Um, and uh, in this one, we've just drawn the diagram for you. This is a right angle, so you know that these two add up to 90. So in the last one, they equaled 180, and this one they're going to equal 90. So just write that these two expressions add up to that, simplify it, and solve it. 
Okay, once you learn that X is 27.5, that allows you to evaluate these two expressions to find out the size of the angles. So we're going to add 2.5 to X to get this one. So um, that would be 30 because 27.5 plus 2.5 is 30. And then if we take 2 times 27.5 plus 5, we get 60. And these two should add up to 90 because this is a right angle. 60 plus 90. All right. Um, you guys, um, sometimes you can uh, write an equation to, to solve a problem that you need to figure out for some reason. Um, at the cell phone plan, um, the sign-up fee is $375 and the cost is $20, $20 per month. Um, we're going to write uh, an equation that represents the total cost. Okay, we're going to use C for total cost and M for the number of months you have this plan. Um, so our, our variables are already defined. C is, C is the total cost and M is the number of months. So we did that up here. Um, the equation will be C total cost equals 25 times the number of months you use the plan plus your sign-up fee of 375. And then once we have that equation, if we want the total cost for a number of months, we just put 12 where the M is and do the math. Uh, 25 times 12 is 300 plus 375 is $675. All right. Um, so I'm going to let you try this, and um, one of these problems you're going to have to backtrack on when you get it. The other one works out just like the last one, but go ahead and try those. All right, you might have got stuck on the second one. You might have tried to put 375 where the M is, but remember M stands for miles. Actually, 375 goes where the C is, and now you have to solve this by either backtracking or balancing. So take away the 250 from the total. That leaves you with 125 for your miles. And then you're going to do divide by 125 by 50 cents a mile. And that gives you 250 miles. So you can go 250 miles if you have $375 to spend on this. All right. Um, when you're doing your assignment today, um, you are going to write the equation. Now, I have all I have um, a grid with your choices for equations, so the equation is going to be one from the grid. But you can go ahead and do this in your notebook first, and then you're going to answer some question using your equation. All right. Uh, if you have any questions about any of that, please message me. Other than that, we'll talk to you soon.